Hello friends, Sketchy's back, and today we're gonna draw a meerkat. Of course, I got my blue pencil, I've got a black pencil, I have something to drink, of course, because drawing is thirsty work. Mm. And I have my snacks, and today I've got some toasted cheeses. I love these things. They're so brown and golden. And basically, when you look at a meerkat, you gotta break it down to its basic shapes. And this, you can see, is kind of like an egg shape. Look at that. It's like an oval. I'm actually draw that for us. See that? It's like an oval. And so that's what we're gonna draw first. The oval shape. And it's right in the middle of the picture. So I'm gonna try to draw an oval shape like this. See, I'm trying to match the same size as that oval. And of course, the tail comes down here. Right off that, drop the end here. And over here, wait, what is this? This looks like a circle. See that circle? Let's draw that circle shape. Kind of a flat circle. And it's just off the side here. See how there's distance here? There's a little bit of distance here. And it's not quite as high. See, look at this. If I put my pencil like this, see it's taller, it's higher than his back. So if this was his back right here, the head is gonna be a little bit higher like this. See that? Same, same. Okay, so it's gonna be a little bit higher like this. And it's a little bit close here like this. And it's about, let's see, about this size. So now we have two basic shapes, an oval for his face and head, an oval for his body, and it connects like right here, see that? And then down here, it doesn't connect like this, you can see it comes like this. So, go like this, it's an angle, like this, like this, let's see if I can match that angle, yeah, like this, and of course, in the front of this circle is his leg. So I'm gonna try to draw the other leg down like this. And his other leg right here next to it. And you can see, this right here is his shoulder. And then it kinda comes this way. His shoulder is a circle. I just know that, I just know it's a circle because of anatomy. I studied a lot of anatomy, so I know that's a shoulder in there. So I'm just gonna kinda pretend there's a shoulder in there. I'm gonna go straight, see off that shoulder, I'm gonna go straight, a straight line at an angle like this. And then of course, there's a little triangle. You can see that little triangle? I can try a little, little triangle here. See the little triangle? Triangle here, triangle here. And that triangle goes all the way up under his bum, where his tail is. And then the, the tail, and then I can see a little bit more of the rock. Okay, so tail, back, face, here's his neck, and the neck turns into his front foot. And this other front foot is right here, and it goes down, and about right here, let's draw a flat ellipse. A flat ellipse like this flat ellipse, and that's where his fingers and hand will be. And over here behind him, under his leg, let's draw a long, just right here on top of this rock, long thing, and almost to his wrist. See where his leg is? His, his back leg ends right behind his wrist. So there it is, here's his wrist. So his back leg will be about right here, and over like this. And it kind of comes up and over up and over. There's that little triangle thing again. There's his arm. Okay, so we got his back leg. And these are just the basic shapes. And that's what we really wanna do when we first start drawing is take everything down to its basic shapes. And I think ours is kinda looking fat. That's okay. Let's draw his ears. And see right kind of in the middle of his head. 
there's the ear. So I'm gonna draw a little oval here on this, on this side. And over here, I'm gonna draw a little oval like this. And there's his ear. And look at his eyes. If I drew a straight line right to the center of his head, his eyes would be above that straight line like this. See that? So right in the middle of his head is a straight line, straight line. And, and then there will be just a little bit right of center. So not in, a, not in the, just the middle here, this is the middle. So just right of the center, that'll be a center line. So now, one eye will be on this side, like this. And I'll draw an, a round circle. On this side, another round circle. That's your big. There we go. I'm trying to figure out where the dark circle is. Not this eye, just a dark circle. See how it touches the middle? And inside this dark circle will be his eye. You can see, let me show you what his eye kind of looks like. Because at an angle like this, and the arches, and then arches down like this. The other side is the same thing. Angle toward the nose. Kind of flattish arc like this. And then goes down, down first, and then comes back in. There is his eye shape. And you can see that his eyes are really, really dark brown, and they're hard to see the pupil in there. So, but I do see the highlight right there, right underneath his eyelid. So I'm gonna draw in a highlight here, and a highlight here, and it kind of makes it look like he's looking somewhere else. But I can draw now the iris. Or the pupil there, there's the pupil, the pupil. And then the color of his eye, it's almost the whole thing. Almost the whole thing. And look at this, it's, it's, it's like he has eyelashes. Boink, boink. So let's, let's draw that eyelash. Boink, coming off the angle there. Just as a diagonal, diagonal. The same one on the other side. Boink. And he's got a teeny tiny nose that comes straight down off the inside of his eyes. We just draw a line from the inside of his eyes, inside of his eyes, and see how the center line, it's below the center line, so it's gonna be around here and here. And it looks like a little triangle. So I'm gonna do a little triangle like this and I can see little wings right there. So I'm gonna put a little wing here, wing here. And it looks like he's got a little smile face, a little smiley face. So smile, smile. The whiskers, and I know he's got like whiskers, whiskers. So he's got a back, so he's got his ears, and his cheek is right here, so he's got like circle cheek here. A circle cheek, look how cute this is. He doesn't have very much of a chin. Just, just right underneath his lower lip, and that's it. And everything else is just kind of furry. So those are the basic shapes. He's got these little fingers and claws. So I'm gonna draw the one I can see the most, this pinky. This little pinky, pinky. This little pinky here. Goes out like a finger, and then there's a claw. He'll go scratch you. Then he's got other fingers that are a little bit longer, so I'm gonna draw a little longer, and then a claw. And then he's got, let's see, one, two, three, I can see. One, two, and there's one more, and then a claw. And you can see lots of fur on this side, so this will be like furry, furry, furry. So lots of lines. Other side, his other hand, I can see his those claws are about the same as here. So I'm gonna draw those claws right here. Claws. And one more claw. So claw, claw, then his wrist, and then his arm, and then his neck. There we go. So now we got the basic shapes. 
Let's now lock it in with some black pencils. Which I just happen to have a black pencil right here. I'm gonna start with his eyes, cause I think they're so interesting. His little tear duct here, and it's over the eye, like this one little angle. And now I can see as I look a little closer, he's got a little eyelid right up here. Yep, eyelid. And then the inside of his iris, it's dark, like this. And then the outside of his eyelid, you can see the little white crescent right here. So I'm gonna extend his eyelid and down and follow that same shape. And all this stuff where it's blue, it's, I'm just gonna draw lines like this to fill in that circle where I know it's dark. Okay, so all this little is getting really dark here and then I'll draw lines like this that matches his fur. There we go, like this. So now we have the spot for his eye. I'm gonna draw the pupil right around that highlight. And this is gonna be super, super dark. And then I'm going to draw the rest of his iris. It's gonna be around the pupil and it's gonna be darker on the top and lighter as it gets down to this right side. See how it's shiny? And it's lighter down here and dark at the top. And then we'll do the same thing with the other eye. Tear duct, inside of the eye, outside of the eyelid, pupil, highlight, now the pupil, eyelid, and the upper eyelid up here. And then we, we see a little, it looks like an eyelash and a little mascara. So we'll go. And then of course, all the way around the eye, like his fur. And up here as well. And then we'll draw the inside the color part of his eye. We'll start dark up here, darker up here. We're pushing darker, pressing, pressing hard, and then lighter. Dark up on the top, and then lighter. There. Now let's let's do its nose. I can see a little bit of arch. A little triangle like this. I think I, my blue pencil was a little too big. So I'm just gonna fix it when I lock it down. And then this mouth, it's right here below it. And it's furry. And of course, it's got some whiskers. Draw some whiskers. Now, whenever you draw something that's furry, you want to draw lines that are really short, like fur, like this. And I will start in the middle of his head, right here, and I'll just draw little short lines to make it look super furry. And I can see that these, as it gets to his cheeks, are even darker. One more thing, when you're drawing something that's furry, because it's fur, it kind of grows in different directions. And so it won't be the same, like this. For example, I will start drawing together, or the same, and then I'll start doing something different, and then the same again, and different, and then the same, different, and the same, and then it starts to look like fur. See that? They're very close together, but I change the direction of the fur. Just change, change direction. 
and let's go back up to this ear. To help it look furry, I'm gonna draw just like this. A dark, just lines, instead of drawing the edge of the shape, the outside edge. Same thing with this, this ear over here. So just draw like this, away from the nose, like this. Cause the, the fur goes this way, and so we'll do the same thing with his ears. See, it's narrower at the bottom of the ear and it's thicker at the top. It's narrow here, and then it gets thicker. And then it kind of looks like there's fur in front of that ear. And I'll continue to draw in the fur up here on top. And then on the cheek. And of course, I can see this little lower lip like this. See how it's furry? And then I'll do the same, same thing. Now on the back of an animal, it's usually really long fur. So we can do the longer furs. Like this. And I'll just follow the blue line. And I change the direction just a little bit. And then the tail, the furs start to get smaller and smaller. So I know smaller and smaller. And they come smoother and smoother. Underneath here, I can see that. Smoother. And of course I can see your hair. That's longer furs right there. So let's do the whole body from up here in the armpit. These long ones. Woo! This is really hard, so we need a break. Let's have a little snack. Mm. Now you can see that the back of the arms are furrier than the front of the arms. So this side will start furry on the neck and then they will get smoother. See that? So draw the lines, the fur lines, closer together in parallel. Okay, now the same, let's add these little feet and the feet are not very furry. And there's the last one on the right foot and the left foot left foot has a middle finger and he's got the back foot oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep drawing this I like this shoulder up here on the neck I'll draw some more of this shoulder and down across the bottom of his chin over here I'm gonna do some more just so we can keep seeing it there we go now this is really long for down here, so I'm gonna do lots of long furs to change angle and direction over top of that back leg. And let's draw this. The top of the leg is really smooth. Where little his toes are. And there's a claw, claw. And then there's a rock. I'm gonna draw this rock. And right here, to make it look like it's not just a silhouette, I'm gonna continue the spur all the way up into the shoulder. Like that, see that? And you can see this is a little bit darker, so I'm gonna go this, this back leg and neck. I'm gonna do this, just darken it in like this. And from here, I'm gonna start to lighten it up. And the fur kind of centers underneath his chin and then it bends out like this. So right underneath his chin, goes like this, and another layer, and then another layer. You see how it, it centers under his chin? Sweet. Then of course, they got stripes so I'll just draw some stripings like this. And the stripe. They're just different lengths. They're shorter on the shoulder and then they get longer on the sides. And 
and its tail gets dark on the end. So I'm gonna darken that tail up and get lighter as it gets closer. Finish off the rock. And now we have a really cute meerkat that digs and digs and digs holes in the desert. <laughs>